Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today's video for the LS Vortec swap in my 2003 Jeep TJ. What I'm working on today is to wire up the fuel pump. Mine is a 2003. You'll need to check the wiring schematics for your year to confirm. So I'm using a current performance wiring harness. And it already has the fuel pump wire all ready to go that we just need to connect. And by connect, I mean it already has the relay pre-wired. Now, for me, I already got the fuel wire set out. It's a green and white. And how I went about doing that, if you pull up the wiring schematics, you can look up on the fuel pump module plug, and it tells you the wires and their color and what exactly they do. And you can see right there, DG white, fuel pump relay output, and you can see what the other ones are. Now, another way that you could go and look... Besides for looking at the fuel pump module plug. Is on the fuel pump relay output. And the one you want to look at is the fuel pump relay output. And that is the DG and white. And another way you can actually look at another schematic. And you can see the fuel pump module. And you can follow the power. And you can identify the wire there. Now that being said. You could physically actually use the fuel pump relay that's already in your little fuse block there. You'd have to take it apart and look for the fuel pump relay trigger and hook that up to your LS computer and have it operate so that when your vehicle's turned on, that the fuel pump relay will turn on. I think it turns on for a couple seconds and turns off until it sees a crank signal and then it will run full time. Now this part is mainly filler. I like to use a Deutsch style waterproof connection on everything I like to use. That and solder connections. Especially like to use the removable connections in case I have to make any changes or do something different. If you hardwire it or use butt connections, you may end up with trouble down the road. So what I did was just fit it up the wire, cut it to length, whereabouts I want to use it. Start crimping all my Deutsch style connections. This actually is a long process. If you don't care and you just want to join it quickly, then it only takes seconds, but it's a lot of work. Put some wire loom on it, kind of make it look a little bit more professional. Rerun it to where you are going to have it sit permanently and then do the final connection. If you notice, I have a wire there that's looped. Instead of just having the connector have only one end used i looped it just in case you know something might happen whatever then it has like a backup power connection runs through both sides but anyways it's all connected it fits i'm gonna leave it off right now until i start doing the electrical testing but the beginning of the video obviously tells you how i went about and determined which was the fuel pump power wire but i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in the next one